Okay, so I'm making this very quick video. Uh, I've got longer videos on YouTube to cover this in a little more detail, but I'd want to just get this out there uh, so I can put this away for a little while, stop working on it. So uh, these are two different designs that I've put together um, incorporating some other ideas I've seen out there. So uh, first of all, this is a, a Roomba, um, you know, a, a, a robot uh, vacuum cleaner for the house. It's super small, and I've seen a couple other people talk, couple other people talk about using it for a mask filter. And the first person I saw to actually use it in the design was uh, Wally Renee. So I took uh, his idea and kind of ran with it a little bit. Uh, first of all, super simple. This is just an adapter with the, with the um, to connect to a 22 millimeter port. Now let me explain. I'm not recommending using a mask like this. This is not what I would use. It's pointing straight out at the patient. I don't like the idea of someone coughing right at my filter. It's just rapid contamination. Um, but uh, I'd also, uh, but a lot of masks have a port down here at the bottom, off to the side. The idea is this can be used on any of them. And what's nice is you pop it out. You toss the filter, grab another one, pop it in, and you're good to go. Now, I've added a couple little things to this. First of all, um, if you want, you can take an elastic uh, rubber band, um, or in this case, a hair tie, and lock this down so that it um, just fully stays seated. Because I've also added in the inside a 1 16th inch foam um, uh foam uh, tape to create uh, a gasket of a sort, so a membrane to really create a good seal between the filter itself and the adapter, and you see that the hole is only the size of that, so nothing gets past it. Um, so again, uh, it's pretty secure as is, um, but it, just to hold it down an extra little bit, the, rubber, the hair tie rubber band helps. Same thing with this mass I created, it uses the same exact port. Once again, lined with that 1 16th inch um, foam tape. Now this is an all-in-one deal. Prints like this, no, ignore the burn marks in my print, now that's just from testing. But now you have an all-in-one solution and where you can pop this in, take it out as often, as, you know, whenever you need to replace it. If you're wondering why there's these two little tabs here, well, once again, the rubber band, it's to lock and hold that tight so that it doesn't come out at all. And uh, once again, you just take this off, pop out your um, your filter and away you go. And I designed it so that it's very, you know, as, as best as I could to make it easy to clean, easy to access, clean it all out and you know, decontaminate and then use a new filter. So um, I think it's all pretty well self-contained. Uh, I printed this entirely without supports. That's the reason I got the burn marks. So just be aware you can print this at least FDM without supports. Um, I, I'm not so sure about uh, SLA uh, resin printing, but um, uh, yeah. So then anyway, anyway, I think that's about it. Uh, trying to keep this video somewhat short. Uh, I have another video that kind of talks about how to apply this. It's just a, a one quarter inch uh, I took a one half by one sixteenth inch. I cut it down the middle, and so just two, you need about two inches of total uh, foam tape per mask or per adapter. Um, these right here, I have a link on my website where you can get these. You can download all these files right on my website. If you go under the accessories and shop, uh, you can download them again. It's for free. There's a couple of little agreements for you to check off. But other than that, um, just know this is all testing, guys. We're just trying to help you know, fill a need. I'm not making any money off this. I'm, I'm just trying to help people have solutions and because a lot of people have a lot of concerns, but not a lot of solutions. So this is just me trying to help give a solution. Um, you can find a link to these. These are less than a dollar a piece on Amazon. Um, and yeah, so they're truly just a throwaway product. Uh, got a couple other things going on as well, a couple other designs, a couple options. This right here will probably change. Actually, in fact, I've already changed it a little bit. I brought this a little bit closer to this, the one that you have access to. Um, and then there's a, a, sm a size or a smaller as well. You cannot just scale this print because then the port will change. So I have a large and a medium. Um, by the time you add foam tape to the inside, um, to make it seal and also if you do use FDM printing you can you, you can heat a needle you can warm it up and adapt to the face but once you use foam tape it should create the seal that you want but um, uh, yeah so that I think the two the large and the medium should be sufficient for the vast majority of people I might decide to create a small as well but I need to take a break I've been working on this for the last few days um, other than that, I think, I, you know, I'm not going to even post their videos. I've pretty much covered it. Um, just one piece of tape, 
cut it into two pieces, rip it down the middle as well, and then you got your pieces there. All right, so pick your poison. Hopefully it helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, this is a, an active development thing. I'm going to be changing it probably with time, but uh, for the most part, it checks all the boxes that I was really looking for. All right, thank you so much.